Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing? So, this washer here would blow the breaker. And so what it is, I found out by taking the timer apart, was the points were shorted inside the timer. So the timer was basically shot. I tried to rebuild it. And it worked after I rebuilt it, but then uh, my friend said it quit working. So we've got a whole nother timer, and we're going to put a whole nother timer in it. And so. These timers here, I rebuilt a few of them and had to replace quite a few of them. So there's a trick to taking the knob off, basically. There's a shaft in the center of this shaft. The shaft inside the center of this shaft. You need to make sure it's pushed back so that that end isn't expanded. And once that's pushed back, then the knob will come off. And in order to take that top console loose, you'll have to stick a screwdriver in here on these sides to push the, there's like a little lever that you have to push back in order to pull that and then uh, once you've pushed the lever back then the whole top console will hinge back and here we've got a little bit of a strap in the way but and then sometimes you can use like a uh, paint scraper get in here and then push on that tab underneath and I'll show you that in a minute as soon as I get that open. Okay, so you can see these, these little keeper tabs go in the hole inside there and so you just need to push the screwdriver in and pull up at the same time you push in and these will come off. There's one on each side. And to take this knob off, basically you want to grab the end with a small pliers. Now you don't want to grab too hard because you can break these. So basically you want to grab that there. And at the same time you're grabbing that, you want to pull out on the knob. Pull out on the knob at the same time you're grabbing it. And it will, it will come off. And so in order to take the timer out, of course, you'll have to disconnect the wires and be careful with this one because these uh, can pull the entire uh, timer apart. Uh, if you want to salvage the timer, you have to be very careful pulling these wires out. Now, this one has a tab here that you have to disengage in order to pull this getting plug out. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, so you get the idea. And then once you pull this out, there's a tab in the back of, of this where you can twist the timer and then and then you'll be able to remove it. And I'll show you that. Okay, here's a little disclaimer for you. And so once you 
course, the unit is unplugged. And once you have removed the two connections to the timer, you can see there's a little tab right back there. Now that tab you just pull back and then twist the timer. So pull back on the tab. The timer should twist out. Oh no, it pulls back. It will pull back uh, toward you. Okay, so you can see how this timer is in here, basically. We have a little clips that hold it in. And these... were actually, I put some goop on them to hold them in because for some reason it wasn't holding in place very well. So I'd use a little extra force on these to pull them out. So basically, here's your clip. You just push on the clip and then pull to the left. And you can see this timer I've had a part. I've already tried to rebuild it. The points were fairly fairly toasted and unrepairable. So out with the old and with the new. So this one here basically just set in place. And then once you have it sort of seated, just sort of push push to the right and it will be seated. assemble in reverse order. If this video helped you, please send me a donation. It's Bill's Recycling Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. Your donations help support reuse and recycling worldwide. Thank you for your support.